There's an incredible update in Photoshop beta. To be more precise, this is in Photoshop beta 2024 version 25.2. If you want to know how to install Photoshop beta, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check it. So let's check out the new parametric filters. All you need to do is go to the filter and here we got the parametric filters. Click on it and it's going to open up this panel where you can find pre-composed effects. When you select the parametric filter, it is going to create automatically a new copy of the current layer you got and it's going to apply separately the parametric filter. For example, you can decrease the intensity and of course the red, green and blue. And these are going to give you different results. You can go to the preset and here you can find pre-made customizations for example the rainbow this is pretty wild or large aberration and small aberration so if you don't want to mess up these settings you can just go here to the presets and switch it up and that way you don't complicate yourself if you don't have a strong pc i also recommend you to have a smaller image size for example this one is on 2000 height so if the image is smaller photoshop is going to have an easier time to process the images if you want to switch up the filter you can go to the parametric filter here and just change it with another filter and it's going to switch up the previous filter to the new filter without creating a new filter above your current filter so as you can see here, we got one parametric filter with a smart object. If you want to create another filter on the top of the parametric filter, you're going to go back, press and hold Alt, and let's select another filter. And check this out, we got two filters here. So if you want to switch up the filters, all you need to do is just double click on one of these. It's going to load up and switch up the settings. And I can show you some of the best looking parametric filters in here. For example, this one is the distortion glitch, I guess. In other words, this is pixel sorting. You can find a lot of tutorials on YouTube with this. And now they also included here in the parametric filters. And you can modify the distance. Let's decrease it. You got big glitch intensity. And you also got like the red, green, blue intensity, which is interesting. Yeah, look at that. It is going to work the same way as the previous filter that we checked. Okay, so let's go on. There's like a filter glitch in here and all this complex work is done by one click. Now you can see it's really high. You can go to the glitch density, decrease it. You can add or remove as much as you want. You can add angle or just go to the presets and check out some of the presets. There's also halftone pattern in here, which is the basic halftone, but you can do a couple of things. You can change up the colors as well. So you don't need to apply separately gradient maps. And you also can change up the dots here to stripe, which I think is pretty cool. You can switch up the rotation and decrease Increase or increase the size now it's better there's also like two holograms in here i'm gonna go with the first one and it's going to try to mimic the hologram effect here we got like damage projector which is more subtle but it looks really good not but least there is this symmetric mandela filter i'm gonna decrease the amount to six so it's gonna add like six reflections you can test these out and see what results you get and these are the new parametric filters here in photoshop beta 2024 Thanks for watching.